Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Pigments and let's attempt to make a bass clarinet and see how close we get to it. So let's go to a new preset and let's we'll go from wavetable to analog. And for our first oscillator, we're going to be picking a square wave and that's going to be 100% in the mix. We have something like that. And then our next oscillator is also going to be a square. Let's bring this all the way up, but a very narrow pulse here, something kind of like this. So we're kind of already getting the texture of that bass clarinet. So for our envelopes, let's bring our decay and sustain up. We're going to be using envelope two as well on the filter, and they're going to be pretty similar, slightly different, but we're going to be kind of dialing in that as well. So decay up and sustain for the both of them, and then the release can maybe be like 20 or 30 something around there, kind of close like that. And then the attack we can kind of play with once we get a little bit closer. So for the envelope two, let's bring this to the cutoff here, and let's bring the cutoff pretty substantially low, maybe in like the 40s, and then envelope amount. That's Kind of just play with it and see what we get. <laughs> okay, this seems like a pretty substantial uh, depth there. Okay, so now we want a little bit of pitch modulation and we're gonna use LFO1 for that. So let's drag LFO1 to the fine for this engine and kind of reduce the depth. There's gonna be small little changes here and change it from poly to free running. And then we're going to change the rate to a little over seven hertz, something like that. That might be a little bit too much depth, so let's bring this back a little bit. Something kind of there. And then now something to kind of just clean up our signal a little bit. Let's send this to the second filter and we can stay on multi-mode, but go for, to a high pass 36 and kind of just dial in so we cut off that low end. Okay, so now let's go to our effects and let's give it some reverb. We always kind of need reverb on sounds like this. And let's move this down just a little bit here. And for this, I'd like to bring up an EQ and kind of just really target the sounds that are the bass clarinet. Because we're almost accentuating that little nasally kind of sound. Let's dial in our reverb just a little bit here. Let's bring back this low pass filter. And for something like this, you kind of always want to dial in this pulse, pulse width until you kind of really feel like you're kind of hitting that sound. Okay, so we're decently close here. Let's do a little bit of macro control. In a patch like this, there's a lot of little fine tunings here. This is kind of just the overall recipe of how to kind of put this together. You might want a little bit more razzle dazzle of the envelope or a little bit more pulse width or something like that. That's totally up to you. But uh, yeah, let's kind of dial in some of this stuff here. So for the first one, we can kind of do the cutoff. I say just a little bit, spring this down maybe a little bit lower. And for the macro, let's maybe give it a small amount like that. And let's put tone for that. So this is kind of cool right there. You can always bring up the resonance. I'll put that on the macro as well. It kind of gives you a little bit more uh, that nasal sound. So res for that one there. And there's a little bit of an EQ point that I do want to remove as well. Kind of that thing.
And then for macro number four, let's put this on the effects as well. So actually, you know what we can do? We can do a little bit of delay and the reverb separately. So let's dial in a little bit of delay. <laughs> Give a nice big room here and reduce the pre-delay a little bit. And for macro three, let's go for delay. And then for macro four, we're going to go to reverb and let's assign those here. So our, our dry wet's 18%. So let's bring this to 18%, something kind of like that. And then macro four, we are at 35. So let's bring this here and put this at 0.35 and increase these two macros. Let's increase the attack a little bit here. And something that I find gives a little bit more authenticity is if we add a little bit of noise to kind of simulate a little bit of that breath sound, because you're going to hear that every so often. So let's turn our noise on and let's kind of dial this in a little bit here. Let's do a little high pass. And noise too. And let's do a little bit of low pass. And so that's pretty much the main takeaway there. Play around with the tone knob and also how much of the second envelope modulation that you want on the cutoff. And that's going to be really how you're going to dial in that sound. And keep in mind, the tone is actually the pulse width on the second oscillator right over there. So if you want to get to this bass clarinet or whatever is kind of a close emulation thereof, there's a free video or <laughs> free video, a free preset in the video description below. So hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.